depression, and monosodium glutamate, and other brain neurotoxins that affect your appetite and cause people to crave the foods that I shouldn't call them foods because sugar isn't, as we consume it, should not be considered a food. It's a drug in the, in the disturbing amounts that people use. But monosodium glutamate and other um, excitatory drugs that are added to our food supply cause excessive appetite and excessive weight gain and metabolic syndrome, which is the body's inability to use insulin properly. And um, in a book called The Diabetes Solution, uh, Dr. Blaylock goes on to say that the uh, metabolic syndrome is the cause of type 2 diabetes as well as hypertension and atherosclerosis causes all three of those conditions. Essentially, science proves that excitotoxins trigger the metabolic syndrome and, subsequently, obesity. And we know that the level of excitotoxins added to our food is at least equal to and often too often exceeds the amount needed to produce the metabolic syndrome in animals. Yet only a handful of scientists are addressing this alarming association. Recent studies, says the doctor, have shown that monosodium glutamate and aspartame Aspartame is the synthetic sweetener, and other excitotoxins actually are, are powerfully, do powerfully stimulate the insulin-producing cells of the pancreas. Now, you were now just, can I just say, you were talking about metabolic syndrome, and a lot of people oh. listening are not going to know what that is. Does okay. he define it here? Or do, okay. He did in early, but I... Uh, okay, well, we, well, we, we define it as, as, the, as a fact of, uh, it's an insulin resistance. It doesn't mean you have outright diabetes. It's a pre-diabetic mm -hmm. s a s manifestation where insulin rises up within the blood and creates a state of inflammation. It creates a toxicity. Can, it can harden and inflame your veins and arteries. It can affect liver function. It can affect High brain. High blood pressure. Uh, a whole host of different, mm -hmm. uh, a different, and of course, uh, a lot of weight gain is caused by this. Carbohydrates raise up, and insulin rises up and becomes more, less and less effective, and has a host of different actions on the different organs of the body: adrenal glands.